Morning, Naomi here. Happy Friday, everyone. I just wanted to sort of talk to you about some useful brushes that we use in practice. Um, you can get two different kinds. You can get um, the Orbi Interspace brushes. So these come in a pack of two. They're usually about six pounds for two. And you can also get a manual toothbrush version. So it's like a little tufted brush. Uh, these are used um, quite regularly in dental practices, uh, advised and recommended for wisdom teeth sites in hard to reach areas. Uh, the Oral-B brushes fit on any Oral-B base. You won't find them in the shops, they do not exist. So uh, dental practices hopefully will stock them in. If you can't get hold of them in your local dental practice, you might be look on Amazon and see if they stock them there. Um, they're used for hard to reach sites, so around wisdom teeth that are partially erupted or um, any sort of areas on the what we call the lingual surfaces, which are where your tongue sits because your tongue is quite a strong muscle. So to get around these sites, under here is quite the areas that a lot of patients miss and also on the back ones towards the top as well. Um, a little tip for the top ones, if you close together when brushing the outside surfaces, you'll reach better. If you're open too wide, your toothbrush will get pushed out. So if you watch, so this is my toothbrush coming in. If you open too wide, my finger gets pushed down. But if you close together, your cheek relaxes and you'll get your toothbrush all the way to the back, which will be much easier. The times to use these little brushes are around wisdom teeth. So what I would do, I'm just going to get out a tooth model. So I had a, a wisdom tooth extracted probably about a couple of years ago and it left a little crater here where I can't get my toothbrush around. So I pop this onto my oral B toothbrush after I've cleaned them with my normal head and I just work the bristles around the back of the tooth and you can also work them where I was saying under the tongue, which is where a lot of people struggle to reach under here. If you, especially if you're a gagger, you want the smallest head in um, possible. Also quite useful around crown and bridge junctions. So um, if you have a crown and it's a bit inflamed where the crown goes under the gum slightly, you can dip it in a bit of salty water or corsodil gel. And again, just working it into the junction between the crown and the gum. You don't want to be too gentle with these brushes. You want to kind of splay the bristles under the gum. So you split the bristles apart. Don't just tickle on top. Um, if you want more of a direct uh, way of brushing, you can cut off these little tif uh, tufts on the side, the three triangles there, and just use the main center one. Um, but they're just brilliant and they last quite a while when they start looking a bit splayed and, and not feeling like they're doing very a very good job that's when you would need to put them into the recycling and you can um yeah just get a new one out of your pack and have a go um so i hope that's helpful today i think i've covered everything if you obviously don't have an orby toothbrush they have a manual version so this happens to be a yellow handle but they come in different colors and again it's the same process they're about two pounds usually uh working it into the gum and around like so and if you close together, like I said, to relax your cheeks, you'll then get up to these sites up here and around the back. Because it's 90 degrees, it gets in all your, it's got the right angle to get in all your areas. You can use it again in between the teeth, uh, but it won't push all the way through, but it will certainly be better than nothing and it will help. Um, so what I would do first is I would use my interdental cleaning aid, so my floss or my teepees. Um, so if you want to see how to use those, look at my previous videos. Uh, then I would get my normal uh, um, circular oral B head and work my way around in a systematic approach for 40, uh, 45 degree angle for two minutes. And then I would get that extra head around the wisdom teeth and any hard to reach areas. And, um, and then your mouth should feel pristine and you should notice no bleeding and then you'll know that you're doing a good job. Any questions, fire them at me. Happy Friday and uh, have a good one. Speak to you soon. Bye.